Hello everyone, welcome to Taladalal's Kitchen. I Chef Archana today. I'm going to show you how to make a perfect tomato ketchup recipe. The first step is to make a potli. I'm just going to show you how to make it. I've taken a muslin cloth. I'm going to put one stick of cinnamon, three cloves, some crushed peppercorns, some crushed garlic. This all will give a nice flavor to your ketchup. Now I'm going to tie this and make it into a potli, also known as bouquet garni. Now our potli is ready. Make sure you tie it very well because we're going to cook this along with the tomatoes in the pressure cooker. And one more thing, if you do not like the flavor of the garlic or if you're a Jain, you can always avoid the garlic. I'll keep this aside and I'll show you how to choose a perfect tomato to make a perfect ketchup. Just a quick tip, how to buy the perfect tomato. Make sure you take a perfect red tomato and see to it your tomatoes are not raw at all. Now let's start making a ketchup. Here I've taken one kg of tomato which is five cups and I've cut them into quarters. I will now add these tomatoes in the pressure cooker and make sure you're not adding any water. And the prepared potli, I'll just push it right inside so that to get a nice flavor. Close the lid. Now I will switch on my flame. Now I will pressure cook this for three whistles. Now let's check whether tomatoes have been cooked. Yes, it's perfectly cooked. We'll remove the potli out from this. Just make sure you don't burn your hands while removing it. Now we'll cool it slightly and grind to a smooth mixture. After that, I will strain the mixture. Now my mixture is ready. I'll strain this with the help of a strainer. And now with the help of a spoon, I will strain it. And make sure, as I said at the start, do not add any water. If you add water, you will not get this kind of a consistency. Here now you can see it's so thick and this is the right consistency we need to make a perfect ketchup. Now my mixture has been strained. Now I'll keep this aside. Now you can see it's nice and thick and the color is also perfect. Now I'll put this tomato mixture in a deep non-stick pan and add the sugar, some chili powder and little salt just to balance the taste. Now I will switch on my flame. I'll mix this well. As you can see, I have added a little chili powder here and it's giving a nice red color. Mix this well and make sure the sugar has been dissolved properly and cook this on a medium flame while stirring it occasionally. It's been six minutes. Here you can see the color is changing. We have to cook this ketchup till it coats the back of the spoon. Here I get a nice aroma of the bouquet garni which we had added or the potli which we had added in the pressure cooker. It's been 11 minutes. The sauce is getting thick. As I said before, we have to see whether it coats the back of the spoon. So we'll just check. I think little more it needs to be cooked and make sure you're scraping the sides as well. Now the sauce is bubbling. This is an indication that the sauce is ready and as I said, the coating, that's very important. Yes, the spoon has been coated well. This has taken approximately 15 to 17 minutes. We'll switch off the flame. Now we'll keep this aside to cool it completely. Then we'll proceed with the next step. Now our tomato ketchup is cooled down completely. The next step, I'm going to add sodium benzoate. This acts as a preservative in the tomato ketchup. I would advise you to add the sodium benzoate only if you are storing for more than a month and make sure your sauce is completely cooled down. That's very important. I'll mix this. And to get the sodium benzoate, it's easily available at any medical store. And yes, it's ready to serve. If you want to avoid using sodium benzoid, make sure you consume it within a month's time. Store it in an added container in the refrigerator and serve it with your favorite snack and enjoy. Download the Tarla Dalal app 
on your Apple and Android devices. Follow us on the Facebook at talladalal.com. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.